Okay, time to give you a show Ooh. around the garden. Um, got my bowl, and all this is going in the recycling. So I'll quickly shove that round now because then I can take you from here. Lovely. Now, I love them. I love them. These are looking worse for wear right now because the rains came down. I'm going to have to be brutal let go morning glory let go you need to let go there too We'll do that. That works too. <sighs> Pretty sure there's only one lot of seeds on there. So I'll grab them off. And everything else. In there. Now, I've still got passion flowers out. Which is very weird. They've had hardly any fruits on them. I think I've only removed about four. There's another two there. But we've still got flowers going, which is very weird. The strawberries we need to get rid of the trailers. got one strawberry which I don't think is going to last much longer so let's just put the seeds in the house quickly okay let's go up to the tomatoes and this is where the bowl goes down and I go yoink Like. Um, that one really is not good. What happened to that? Oh. Okay, so that's it for here. I think. Oh, there's one. It's a split one. So we'll leave that down there too. Okay. Garden. That's a reminder because I need to put soil in there. But first, oh, I hate this door so much. Oh, yes, I've just destroyed a web. Oh, what a shame. Okay. Sorry, I always stand and look around for the spiders first. So we have quite a few in here. So first one I'm going to grab is this. So pleased. This is my favourite tomato. And it's got um, can you see the teeny weeny little hairs on the edge? Look 
grab some Tigrella. See the funky striping. So I think I'm definitely going to have, um, I was going to say strawberries, that's the wrong thing, tomatoes on my sandwich today. Now I have tried to keep up with ripping off leaves as best I can when I've come in here and watered through the past week. There's a lot of snail trails everywhere though, which I'm not amused with. And I did manage to grab one over there. Oh, let me get my second hand. That mound of salt. Oh yeah, he was a big one. He was a big one. From what I understood, it was something that I, I tried this year and it didn't work, was to put chilli pepper, hot curry powder, or um, chilli seed, uh, not chilli seeds, um, like the uh, peel, chilli peel, onto the soil. I use the hot curry powder um, because slugs don't like the heat. Well, apparently they couldn't care less. So that was a myth very quickly abolished. And I don't know what that was. Like, no clue. I'm not that up on the insects. But something was definitely revived. Now, as much as I want to numb a couple of these right now, there's so much slug trail on them. I'd rather not. Little diddy one. Not compared to the normal size cherry tomato. It's a diddy one. these three another good thing with taking all of them off now get rid of that and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna got little poops all over it Little poops. Ugh. Um, these are all going to be for me because we're having a petrol crisis right now. Diesel fuel, petrol. Um, oh, I need to stand up. Um, due to a shortage of tanker drivers. Um, oh look, you can see that. Um, so a lot of the forecourts are empty. So I'm pretty sure I won't see my father this week or next. Oh, got no room in me bowl. Oh my god.
gosh. Why'd they have to be round? <laughs> um, I think that's it. Oh no, there's two more. Um, so these will be all for me. You wait, I'll tip them all over the floor now. So some of the lavender is dying back and that is part and parcel of what I'm going to be doing today because I need to hack this back for the winter and get it in a pile there because next week I hope to burn it. The other thing that I can show you while I'm out here Grab my secateurs. Oh, where's my secateurs gone? Whoops, sorry. My secateurs are gone. Well, where the heck? Is that something I don't leave outside? Well, get my secretary in my room, if I can find them. But if we go over here, remember the hedgehog house? Well, move this. It is now got a layer of bracken over it to shield it a little bit. And there's two of the plants in here that I've forgotten the name of already but two different varieties one that's variegated and one that's not but they look very similar to the lavender when it flowers but all of this has got to go back if not as much as I am gonna hate to do this this has got to go. I've got to get rid of this. It's, it's too much now. It was upright, but because of wind, it's flattened down. So this is coming out. A new lavender is going in. So you're going to be up here and watching me do all the work. Okay.
this is a mix of sharp sand and grit because what's just fallen over over there I'm going to be putting a lavender behind there and lavender are drought lovers so you want something that's got a lot of drainage so that is going in the hole along with the lavender That will do for now. A lot of lavender cut back. I've got a feeling that'll be gone next year. But for now, that's good. All ready for winter.